Hey guys, okay, so before I start this video, I was gonna film in front of my desk, but there was like 30 boxes on my desk and it looked ridiculously ugly. So I had to film with a backdrop, except all my backdrops were in Danny's truck when I was filming this video and Danny was not home. So here you go, ladies and gentlemen. I bring you a really, really, really unprofessional video with a black um, bed sheet with little clips on the sides. All right, enjoy the show. Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial on the look I'm wearing right now. I'm extremely fallish. I know it's winter, but I'm, I can't get away from these mustard colors. Side note, this is actually my favorite color to wear. Like I could wear this color every day of my life. It's my favorite. It's also my favorite like kind of eyeshadows. Oh my god, anyway. So today's video is a makeup tutorial like I just said. And it's mainly using the Too Faced uh, Chocolate Bomb Bomb palette. I love this palette. It's so, so good. I don't think I love it as much as my original chocolate bar, but it's close. Like, I love it. And you guys know I wasn't a big fan of the semi-sweet chocolate bar palette. I don't own it. I didn't like it. I bought it. I returned it. But this one, I really love. And this look may be a little bit bold for some of you, but you could totally tone it down. Totally tone it down with a nude lip. I just wanted to show you guys a tutorial using my Lippy Stick and Taurus because it's been so highly requested to do a tutorial with this lip color. So yeah, that is what I did. And I really hope you guys enjoy it. I know it's similar like with the rosy colors to looks I've done in the past, but like I said, a tutorial using this lipstick was really requested and I just love how rose gold pairs with these brown lips. So yes, if you wanna see how to get this look, then just keep on watching. So I'm gonna start this video by priming my lids. I'm using the Milani eyeshadow primer. I really love this primer and it's so affordable. I'm gonna take my Too Faced Chocolate Bonbon palette and I'm going into the shade Divinity and I'm just using this to set that primer down. Now I'm gonna go into Almond Truffle and I'm gonna use this as my transition shade. I'm taking a Sephora crease brush and I'm just buffing this into my crease so that all the eyeshadows blend really nicely on top. I'm gonna take the ColourPop eyeshadow in Weenie and I'm applying this to my entire lid with my finger. Now I'm gonna take a small little crease brush, this one's for Morphe, and I'm just buffing out that eyeshadow. I'm going into Almond Truffle, and I'm using that same brush to further blend the eyeshadow, just so it looks like the weenie shade blends seamlessly into the other colors. Okay. Back into the palette, I'm using Cashew Chew and I'm taking a fluffy brush and I'm further blending, lots of blending in this video. Okay, I'm gonna go into the shade Satin Sheets. This is an Ofra 11 brush and I'm just applying that to the inner half of my eye and in my tear duct as well. And then I just went over that weenie color to intensify it a little bit more. All right, back into the shade Divinity, I'm using this to highlight underneath my brow bone. Now I'm gonna take this beautiful color, this might be my favorite shade in the palette, it's called Bordeaux, and I'm using this kind of like a soft eyeliner on the top of my eyes, really close to my lashes. Okay, so I'm gonna move on to my face before I finish my eyes. I am priming my face with the Nivea Hydration Essence Primer. I'm still testing it out. I don't know how I feel about it, I definitely like the Post Shave Balm a lot more. So for my foundation, I'm mixing two together, the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless, and the Becca Luminous Foundation. So for concealer, I'm using my Maybelline Better Skin Concealer and I am just applying this to my eyes. You've seen me do this about a trillion times, you know, underneath my eyes, in between my eyebrows, on my nose, on my chin. I'm just highlighting the those parts of my face while covering my dark circles as well. Okay, so to set that, I'm using my trusty RCMA No Color Powder, and I'm setting my under eye concealer and everywhere else where I applied concealer. All right, back to the eyes. I'm gonna take a pencil brush and I'm gonna dip it into that Bordeaux shade, and I am just buffing this on my lower lashes, and then I'm taking satin sheets and highlighting that inner part of my eye. For mascara, I'm using my Kiko Extra Sculpt Volume Mascara. And then for my bottom lashes, this is brand new. I just bought this. It's the MAC um, Extended Play Giga Black Lash. 
I hear a lot of people raving about it for the lower lashes and I really, really loved it. This was the first time I used it and I really like how it made my lower lashes look. A plus. And then I just popped on some falsies. These are the Christina Wisp falsies. I got mine on Amazon. So to finish off my face, I'm going to contour using the Wet n Wild Contour Palette in Dulce de Leche. And I'm using an e.l.f. contouring brush. This brush is amazing for a really precise chiseled out contour. It's really fabulous. I love it so much. And then I'm going to take the lighter shade in this little contour duo and I'm going to put it underneath my eyes just to highlight a little bit. Okay, so for a blush, I'm using my Mali Effortless Airbrush Duo and I'm taking this peach blush and I'm popping that on the apples of my cheeks. This is a Sonia Kashuk blush brush and I really like it. Then I'm gonna highlight my face. This is a up and up brush from Target. Really, really inexpensive and a really great brush. I'm highlighting my face just a tiny bit with that highlight. I wanted to warm up my face a little bit more so I took this Milani baked bronzer and I'm just warming up the skin just a touch more. So to finish off the look, I am applying my lip color. I'm taking the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade Taurus. Taurus? Taurus? Taurus. And then I'm filling in my lips with it and then I'm going in with the Lippy Stick in Taurus right on top. So that completes this look. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Toodles!